The advice to the first year students I'd give is don't get too daunted straight away because I remember walking to the lectures and not really understanding what was going on and it seemed to all be so difficult but it's just if you spend 10 minutes extra uh, doing what you would have done then it, it eventually you eventually get there it's sort of like it gets to the point where you have to do so much and then after you've put so much work into it it'll click and then it'll all seem to make sense so I think in first year I seem to give up too easily and think it was too hard but if you put in just that touch more work it always seems to click. A lot of the advice was kind of don't be overwhelmed because doing a maths degree can be quite overwhelming and um, coming here and having a lot of stuff that you haven't seen before even though you have done very well at A levels or higher so yeah. it's just really not to be overwhelmed and to kind of take the support that's there and given to you. Um, so I think <coughs> the main skill I've got from this degree is determination because um, it isn't always easy it's quite tough um, but you can overcome it if you work hard enough. Maths is a subject that takes a lot of time to master. You can't do it on the quick. It doesn't really work. So I think just make time consistently throughout the four years and you'll be fine. I think my advice to first years would be to get to know as many different people on your degree as possible. Um, because when I was in first year, I got my group of friends and we were all really close. But it was only in my final year that I started to talk to new people and got to know a lot more people in my year. So I wish now that I'd got to know them earlier so we could have spent more time together. I think a lot of people have times we worry about coming to uni, about oh, am I going to make friends or whatever. But it really does happen really naturally, and also just be yourself. Like a lot of people try to reinvent themselves, but you don't really need to. And also, you know, go along to things and be enthusiastic because there's there's someone out there that shares the same interests as you, uh, and you're much more likely to find them if you come out yourself. And so I was lucky enough to um, to be the president of the Math Society in my fourth year, and. Um, we uh, arranged some great social nights out, for instance the math ball at the end of fourth year, um, had a great time. Um, but in particular we had uh, a math pub crawl at start of Freshers Week and uh, maybe had 120 people turn up. I've really enjoyed the kind of community, like being a math student, there's quite a lot of students and it's one of those courses where you really need to work with your peers to succeed. So um, I've been involved with many of the kind of PS schemes that's been happening so I've really enjoyed it. Ask people, yeah. talk to people. You. Uh, your skills can only grow talking to other people. If you're going to work by yourself and you're stuck in a problem, you will be stuck. But like getting that outside help, outside perspectives can only help your mathematics in the in the better. So that's all the advice I can give. Like whenever you're tackling problems, other people are the are the backbone of like great mathematics. I think. Yeah, I have to agree. Like I didn't really ask for help until third and fourth year, and then found third and fourth year so much easier. Just because there was a, a massive network of students who were working together to solve each other's problems and solve them together. And I found that really helpful. That's the only reason I, I got my degree, basically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, academically, get to know the staff and don't feel that you, um, if you fall behind in the, next, in the first couple of months or something like that, there's not people to help you. The rest of people, they're gonna, they know everybody goes through the same situation. You come out of school and you're adjusting to different life and there is people who definitely can help you and will help you if you just ask for it. And it's a, such a friendly department that like you, you couldn't ask for more help if you do go and seek it. In first year I did struggle quite a lot, but I made sure that because of that I made use of all the facilities that were available to help, so the math space in Appleton Tower, so I made sure I was there whenever we had an assignment due, um, like every week just to try and catch up and learn things that were in the lecture notes so that I actually properly understood things. So I just completely made use of the help that was available and I think that really, really helped and I think in the end that's got me where I am today. Um, my advice would be just on the academic side, um, if you're stuck just ask for help. Like I never really thought about doing it because I thought everybody's so much smarter, um, probably shouldn't be asking for help because it's really obvious but just, just ask because the more you talk to people the more you're going to learn and that's how you get the better results is when you work with other people. This academic year I've been involved with a um, new scheme across the School of Maths which is um, peer support so it's third and fourth year students who are helping the first years um, get more uh, climatised to the kind of university um, situation so how to kind of best prepare themselves for like a mathematics degree course because as fourth year students we know kind of best. I had great times and uh, especially in the maths common room, you know in the maths hub, you can just sit there and just have the crack and just chat to people all day long and even if you can be bothered do some maths, if you don't want to do some maths it's cool you can just be there and just chat to your friends, but yeah, good social place. The kind of friendships you make uh, and the relationships you build with like people doing your course and like other courses as well but specifically for maths in maths like the kind of long nights spent like going over problems with pals and that, that and that's great because because you learn you kind of learn people think maths is like something you do on your own but you can really learn together and um, 
and also like it deepens your friendship as well. It's uh, so it's, I suppose it's that kind of hard work together over like nights in the library and mornings and stuff. It's great. If I had to give advice on the best way to study maths, I would say that the best way is to ask questions and ask questions like not just of your lecturers and stuff, but to, of your friends and to work collaboratively uh, rather than alone. I mean, it's, sometimes we think of maths as like sitting. Uh, in a room by yourself with a textbook going through examples but the best way to study maths in my opinion is like to as a team. I look back now and I, I think that I worked really hard in first year but the work that I did I think was almost it I didn't work as sensibly or as efficiently as I as I did in fourth year so I'd spend time sort of rewriting my lectures and not learning it but not necessarily learning as much but aimlessly rewriting because I thought oh, well this you work on your own now this is the sort of thing that you should do um, whereas I came to see over the four years that sitting down and doing questions and sort of putting yourself in more uncomfortable situations was probably a better way to learn even though it's more difficult I suppose.